If All Might retired, people everywhere are struggling with a sense of unease. In this new reality, fear is on the rise, and we need heroes more than ever. I decided to binge watch and binge read the anime and manga of My Hero Academia to prepare myself for the upcoming fourth season of the anime series. The anime so far does a very good job of bringing to life many of the notable scenes and story arcs from the manga. I figured why not see if we can speculate how far into the manga the anime will go, which story arcs will be explored, and what new revelations are in store for us in this new chapter of My Hero Academia. Fortunately for you guys, my quirk is being able to speculate in great detail, so time to go plus! Oh, and there will likely be spoilers here for season four, but you know what? The manga's already out there, so there's already spoilers. So, yeah. Everyone stop talking and take your seats! Now, based on season three squeezing in a total of 55 chapters, it's likely season four might do the same. Season three of the My Hero Academia anime covers volume eight, chapter 70, through volume 12, chapter 124 of the manga. So that's a total of 55 chapters. Now the third season of My Hero Academia, the anime, was comprised of 25 episodes. In the final episode of season three, Unrivaled, we're introduced to the big three, which chapter 123 of the manga by the same name does as well. By the end of the final episode of season three, we catch a glimpse of the League of Villains, which is also the first appearance of Overhaul. Now, manga readers past chapter 124 are well aware of just how big a baddie Overhaul is and will be moving forward into the Eight Precepts of Death arc. He's not just a super villain, this guy's a super gangster. He's Yakuza. So moving into season four, we're likely to start with chapter 125 of the manga, which is Overhaul's introduction. His introduction in chapter 125 was pretty damn intense. Chisaki's quirk allows him to simply make people go splat upon touching them. I mean, he kills people instantly with a single touch. You know, I wish I had that quirk. Essentially, Chisaki wants the League of Villains to join his gang. And it makes sense, since both have the same motives after All for One's defeat. Sarabata. One for all. So the eight precepts of death arc will definitely be explored further in season four, in which we know the young Midoriya is attempting to land a work study position at Sir Night Eye's office, which is headed by Sir Night Eye himself, the former sidekick of All Might. Now, there's a bit of a conflict between Midoriya and Sir Night Eye regarding him being the successor of All Might, and rightfully so. I mean, this is a guy who stood side by side with All Might as his sidekick. So it makes sense he's a bit skeptical with him possibly being the successor to the All Might Mantle. Oh, and quick aside guys, is it me or is Bubble Girl completely and totally waifu material? I mean, as soon as I saw her, I was like, sue you who? Ribbit, you've got a point. I, if they put that whole tickle machine scene from the manga in the anime, pretty sure it'll be clipped and gifed, if not by me, by someone on the internet. Who am I kidding? I'll probably be the one to do it. <laughs> Anyway, Midoriya gets that stamp of approval and employment from Sir Night Eye, and now under his employment, we'll hopefully begin to see Deku become that dazzling light that people in this world need. Now, to spare you all minor details as to what happens throughout each chapter, let's just speculate the amount of chapters and arcs likely to be covered. Everyone, I'm gonna do my best! Yeah! yeah. If season three fit in 55, perhaps season four will do the same. And if that's the case, season four of My Hero Academia will cover chapters 124 through 179, right? Well, it's actually more likely that we'll delve a bit deeper into the UA School Festival arc from the manga, with season four potentially ending on chapter 181 entitled For Someone Else. Now again, I'm not sure, just speculating here, but based on what we saw in season three, this is a likelihood. Chapter 179 of the manga sees Deku going head to head against the character known as Gentle, where we're also treated to his background story. An origin story, if you will. That's pretty much the basis for this particular chapter of the manga, with the fight between Deku and Gentle concluding in chapter 180. Now, it is likely they'll roll into the conclusion of this particular fight as that type of cliffhanger would be, well, it would just suck to leave us there. But Dragon Ball Z used to do the very same thing delivering the villain's backstory just before the bout. So we're used to it. But in chapter 180, Deku admits after delivering a pretty damn nice St. Louis smash 
that Gento was the toughest opponent he's ever faced. Based on the manga, season four might likely conclude with chapter 181 of the manga where Gento is being taken to the police by Ectoplasm and Hound Dog, with Midoriya making it back in time for class 1A's performance. So we've got three potential chapters that are likely to be explored in season four. The eight precepts of death arc will see its conclusion, the remedial course arc, and the UA School Festival arc. Now, season three of My Hero Academia tackled the Forest Training Camp arc, the Hideout Raid arc, and the Provisional Hero License Exam arc of the manga, with the last two episodes of the third season kicking off the makings of the Eight Precepts of Death arc. Season four will likely go up to the first couple chapters in the Pro Hero arc, much like season three did with the Eight Precepts of Death arc. I know Overhaul is being set up to be the big baddie for season four, but I'm hoping to see Jen make an appearance. One reason they may decide not to delve too deep into the gentle villain storyline would be because of the similar dynamic between Gentle and LaBrava and Overhaul and Airy. With Overhaul's relationship with Airy being more manipulative and Gentle and LaBrava's relationship being more loving. Similar dynamics, just completely polar opposites as one is based on fear and the other on admiration. Now this is just what I'm thinking, but I would love to know your thoughts on this. How far into the manga do you think season four might delve into? Sound off in the comment section down below and be sure to bookmark this video because when season four of My Hero Academia wraps, I wanna see how close I came to being right and maybe some of you guys in the comment section. Be sure to check out our other coverage of My Hero Academia and of course, as always, follow and subscribe to IGN wherever you like to watch.